George Bailey, how have the players responded to the visit today? I think they've just loved it. Eh? You know, we've always, I think we've got a huge respect for what you guys do out here, but to be able to see it hands on and, and get a first hand experience uh, has just been great for us. I, I know the boys have certainly taken a lot out of it, and I know we changed training to be here, but uh, you know, I think it's, it's been so much more beneficial than the training session. Have your players learned anything specifically for the Australian Defence Force personnel here? Absolutely. I mean, we, we talk about making decisions quickly, making decisions under pressure, uh, having conviction with your decisions, uh, working as a team and I guess communicating really well. And I think all those things were demonstrated to us today and, and we'll certainly take a lot out of that. So just in specific to that comment, you've learned how the ADF make quick decisions under pressure and you've seen that demonstrated today. How will you apply that to your cricket team? I think it's something we see every day, and particularly for our format of T20. Uh, it's something that's, that's something that you, it almost happens every ball. Bowlers have to make that decision. Uh, batters have to, to weigh up risk versus reward of going for big shots or building partnerships. Uh, and most importantly for that is then communicating that with your teammates and your captain. And, and we've certainly seen that. And I think there'll be some, some long lasting uh, repercussions, hopefully, for our team. I'll actually ask one final question. You had a moment to reflect and pause at our memorial at the uh, Al Minhad Air Base. What was that like for the players today? Yeah, it's a, it gives great perspective, very sobering experience. And, and as I said, I think the respect that, that we have for the soldiers and everything that they're doing was, was really brought home and, and we really appreciated uh, having the opportunity to express our condolences and particularly knowing it's been a tough couple of weeks.